Hey friends, it's your fellow singing engineer Roy Moy III and you're tuned into another STEM Music Moment. Time for a STEM Music Moment, STEM Music Moment, STEM Music Moment, STEM Music Moment. Today we're going to talk all about zoology, the study of animals, but more specifically African zoology, the study of animals within Africa. So join me on this journey as we learn about African zoology. Now, one thing about these STEM music moments is that you gotta pay attention to the lesson. I'll be saying some key words that are gonna go into some lyrics that I wrote for a song called African Zoology. So pay attention during this lesson. We'll jump into some lyrics where you fill in the blanks with the keywords, and then I'll share with you this incredible, fun song called African Zoology. This first group of animals that we're gonna jump into, they are a part of the pachyderm family, which means they're really, really large mammals like elephants, rhinos, and hippos, which by the way, we're gonna talk about them right now. Wildlife Boy T here. We are getting ready to go on an African safari, talking all about zoology. The first animal we're gonna talk about is from the pachyderm family, and it is the African elephant. This guy right back here, they can weigh up to seven tons and they can be as tall as 13 feet. These animals have great memory. Keyword, memory. Another thing you need to know about the African elephant is you can tell the difference between the Asian elephant and the African elephant by the size of their ears. The African elephant has larger ears. Did I mention that these are herbivores? They like to eat plants. Plant-based diet, right? So another thing that's very interesting about our African elephant is that it has over 40,000 muscles in its trunk which is just like the nose that we have. They use it to breathe, to take baths like this, to eat, and to do other things. It's a really, really, really cool part of the elephant's body. Another thing about elephants is they live to about 70 years old in the wild, and they use their tusks. They use those tusks to scrape up food, dig holes for water, and to scrape bark off of trees. This is our African elephant. Wildlife Roy T here. I'm glad you're still tuned into this STEM music moment. Come take a walk with me as we look for more animals on this safari. Come on, let's go. The next animal we're gonna talk about is the black rhino. They could stand up to six feet tall and they could be up to 3,000 pounds. Now, check this out. The black rhino has two horns, keyword two horns, and also a thing that you can differentiate between it and a white rhino, so a black rhino and a white rhino, is that the black rhino has a pointed upper lip. That's another key word, key phrase, while the white rhino has a square lip. And why does it have the pointed upper lip? Well, it uses that to eat from trees and bushes, while the white rhino uses the squared lip to eat and graze on the grass, all right? The other thing about this black rhino is that it wallows around in the mud because it wants to create some sunscreen and kind of bug repellent, okay? Remember, we just talked about that pointed upper lip. That's because it's herbivore. It eats plants. It's got a plant-based diet. Now, these animals can live up to 35 years in the wild, and they're truly incredible. Take a look at the black rhino. Next up, we got the hippopotamus. They can be up to 14 feet tall and weigh four tons. Crazy. By the way, they really love water. In fact, the Greeks named them the river horse. They are really good swimmers. Swimming is a key word. And by the way, they can hold their breath up to five minutes underwater. Just imagine that. They're herbivores, so they also like to eat plants, and they like to graze at sunset, right, when it's cool outside. They can consume up to 80 pounds of grass. Now, they travel in a group, and that group is another key word, a school and you gotta be aware of the tusks in their mouth okay if you happen to see a hippopotamus in the wild don't get close to them because they use those as weapons and they protect themselves from predators but they can also come after you so be very careful in the wild they live up to 40 years old next up is an animal we are all familiar with the king of the jungle the lion it can stand up to six feet tall at the shoulders and weigh up to 400 pounds. Now, the roar, a key word, 
that can be heard up to five miles away. Isn't that crazy? That's really, really loud. And the male lions are the ones that typically have the mane. Remember from Lion King, Simba? They are typically the ones that have the mane. Now, check this out. Lions are the only big cats that really travel in groups called prides, anywhere from two to 40 lions. If I saw a pride of 40 lions, I would be very scared and would not want to be close by. Now, check this out. Female lions are the ones that are actually doing most of the hunting. That's another key word, hunting. They are carnivores. They like to eat meat. And so they actually work together to attack the gazelle, to attack the zebra, the wildebeest, whatever animal that they are hunting, they work together to secure that meal for their family. Female lions also raise the young cubs and lions in general can live up to 10 to 15 years in the wild. The next animal we're going to talk about on this safari is the giraffe, the world's tallest mammal. Tallest is a key word, so remember that. This animal is covered in spots and there are no two giraffes that have the same type of spots. Now, they can be up to 19 feet tall and weigh up to almost 3,000 pounds. Check this out. Their legs can be almost as tall as 6 feet, which is crazy. That's like my height. And that's just the legs of the giraffe. Now, they have really long necks. And why is that? Because they're gonna eat in the tree tops and their favorite, favorite leaves that they love to eat is the plant, the acacia. That is another key word. So remember, acacia. Now check this out. Their tongues can grow up to about 18 inches, but they can get as long as 21 inches long, which is crazy. Think about that, how long your tongue can get, right? So the other thing is they, they travel in small groups and when they get to the water hole to take a drink, it's very, very dangerous because they gotta spread their legs out, they gotta dip their necks down, and that creates much danger that predators could come and attack them in that moment, right? They can live up to 25 years in the wild, and as we mentioned before, they love to eat the acacia, meaning that they're herbivores as well. They are plant-based eaters. Check out these giraffes. The last animal we're gonna talk about on this safari is the world's fastest land mammal, you guessed it, the cheetah. The cheetah can stand up to four feet tall at the shoulders and weigh up to 140 pounds. Check this out, it can go from zero to 60 miles per hour in just three seconds, keyword, three seconds. That is incredible. It is a carnivore and loves to eat meat and when it's hunting its prey, it uses its incredible vision, the sight that it has to track down its prey, but it takes a lot of energy because it's going from zero to 60 miles per hour really, really fast. And so their hunt usually just lasts a minute. Just imagine securing your dinner for the day in one minute. Now, when they get their prey, they usually have to hide it. They gotta drag it away to some place where no one, no other animal can find it because lions and groups of hyenas like to try and come and steal their food. Imagine that. So they wanna hide it to make sure they can feed themselves and their families. Now. This next fact blew me away, and it's a key word. Cheetahs chirp, key word chirp. They make a chirp sound like a bird, chirp, chirp, which is crazy, I just can't believe it, but I watched the videos, I saw it with my own eyes that cheetahs like to chirp. They can live up to 10 to 12 years in the wild. All right, now it's time to jump into these lyrics. I know you've been paying attention to all the key words. So the first verse says, take a trip with me to the African grassland. So many things to see like the animals will be passing. Got the African elephant with them ears. Got real good blank for many years. A trunk with blank that is very firm. Gotta know you're dealing with a pachyderm. What are those keywords in those blanks? You guys are so smart. That's absolutely right. African elephant with them ears. Got real good memory for many years. A trunk with muscle that is very firm gotta know you're dealing with the pachyderm. The next part of verse one is like a black rhino with thick skin and blank horns that'll grow. Blank, 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 eating trees on the go, chilling in the mud on a sunscreen flow. What are those key words? We talked about the black rhino. How many horns did it have? You're absolutely right. Like a black rhino with thick skin and two horns that'll grow. What was the next blank? Blank, 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 eating trees on the go. What was the difference between a white rhino and a black rhino? You are absolutely right. Pointed upper lip, eating trees on the go, chilling in the mud on a sunscreen flow. The last part of verse one is, close by, got a hippopotamus, blank all around and they're showing off their tusks. Grazing in the grass at sunset, grouped up in a blank. Yes, you can bet. What do you think those blanks are? 
You all are so smart. I love the STEM Music Nation. Yes, it says close by got a hippopotamus swimming all around and they're showing off their tusks, grazing in the grass at sunset, grouped up in a school. Yes, you can bet. Now, verse two is really fun. It's a rap and it starts off like this. King of the jungle, we got the lion. Gonna hear it blank, it won't be quiet. Gotta know that the lioness is doing all the blank, raising all the cubs without even grunting. What do you think those blanks are? That's right, that is absolutely right. King of the jungle, we got the lion. Gonna hear it roar, it won't be quiet. Gotta know that the lioness is doing all the hunting, raising all the cubs without even grunting. The next part of verse two is, let's take a turn to the giraffe, Pirapa. Blank mammal, head above the trees, no drama. Got a long tongue to eat the blank. Brown spots all over is what their coat is made of. You just keep getting better and better. I love it. It says, let's take a turn to the giraffe, Pirapa. Tallest mammal, head above the trees, no drama. Got a long tongue to eat the acacia. Brown spots all over is what their coat is made of. The last part of verse two says, speed it up, take me to the cheetah that's running fast, going zero to 60, only blank seconds gonna pass. Blank like a bird and purring like a kitten, hunting down prey with incredible vision. What are those blanks? You're absolutely right. Great job. Way to finish it off. It says, speed it up to the cheetah that's going really fast, going zero to 60, only three seconds gonna pass. Chirp, chirping like a bird and purring like a kitten. Hunt down prey with incredible vision. Congratulations, you did it. You filled in the blanks for the African Zoology song, and guess what? We're getting ready to jump into that song right now. So thank you so much for tuning into this the music moment and coming along on a safari with me, Wildlife Roy T. We call us the music, African Zoology. Ah. Take a trip with me to the African grassland So many things to see, like the animals will be passing Got the African elephant with them ears Got real good memory for many years A trunk with muscle that is very firm Gotta know you're dealing with a pack of dirt like a black rhino with thick skin and two horns that'll grow Pointed up a lip, eating trees on a go Chilling in the mud on a sunscreen floor Close by, got a hippopotamus Swimming all around and they showing off their tusks Grazing in the grass at sunset Grouped up in a school, yes you can bet Zoology, zoology Tell them this is African zoology Zoology, zoology Tell them this is African zoology So many animals that you will see When you journey on a safari Zoology, zoology Tell them this is African zoology King of the jungle, we got the lion Gonna hear it, Roar. it won't be quiet Gotta know that the lioness is doing all the hunting Raising all the cubs without even grunting Let's take a turn to the giraffe, heat up Tallest mammal, head above the trees, no drama Got a long tongue to eat the acacia Brown spots all over, is what the coat is made of Speed it up, take me to the cheetah that's running fast Going zero to sixty, only three seconds gonna pass Chirp, chirping like a bird and purring like a kid Hunting down prey with incredible vision This is only a small group of of the animals we can know From the continent with the globe Animals of Africa One Yamawaki 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 Africa Animals of Africa Suarez Suarez Zoology, zoology, tell them this is African zoology. One Yamawaki Africa, one 
Wanyama wa Kiafrika Wanyama wa Kiafrika Wanyama wa Kiafrika